I will be doing this look, a tutorial on this look. And um, when I got my Anastasia palette, which yes, I'm gonna be using this again. I'm probably gonna use it in all videos. Yes. When I got this, I did get a request to use the color Spirit Rock, which is this black one right here. And it has like pink sparkles. I don't know if you guys can tell from the distance. Yeah, I did get a request to use that just to see how I would do a look out of it. And this is what I came up with. And I posted a picture on Instagram, which you guys should definitely follow me. I will leave the link down below. And yeah, I posted this on Instagram and I did get a request to do a tutorial on it. So here I am. It's like a smoky halo eye with a pop of pink. Just because the black, the, that spirit rock, has like pink glitters on it. So I really wanted to put pink in it. So yeah, if there's anything else you guys want to see, don't be afraid to let me know. And I will definitely get it out for you guys. If you guys want to learn how I get this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I already primed my eyelids with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And then I also already set my eyelids with a light powder just so the shadows can blend in easier. And now with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette, I'm going to go with the color Sherbert and use that as a transition color on my crease. Okay, and now that we have our transition color in and it's all blended out, we're gonna go ahead with the same palette and we're gonna get the color Spirit Rock. And we're just gonna go ahead and add that to the outer corner and the inner corner and keep blending it in. I'm gonna go with like lightest to darkest just so I can blend in the black really good. If you start really dark first and you go all the way up, it can ruin everything. So start light and blend and then just keep doing that until you get the pigment you want to get. Okay, so basically I did that same step three times until I got it as blended as I wanted it to look. You take as long as you have to if you have to do it more than three times so it can look exactly how you want it and blend it as much. Like I said, just start minimal. I don't, if you guys saw the first time I did it, I put on a little bit and I blend it out and then I do it again until I get it how I want it. I mean, you don't have to worry that it's gonna be super black. First, you have to worry about blending it just so you don't have any harsh lines and then you worry about the pigmentation so that's what I will be doing now okay and basically with this brush right here now we're just focusing on adding pigment and having it be black Whatever is on that brush, I will just pretty much diffuse the edges. Okay, 
Now that you have the pigmentation that you want, you can go ahead and blend with your clean a blending brush and just kind of diffuse the edges on like the very edge. You don't have to go on your crease since you already have the pigmentation you want. But I feel like I did go a little bit more up and I'm just trying to diffuse that. I am gonna add more black. Since this color, which is Spirit Rock from Anastasia Beverly Hills, just to remind you guys, it does have pink glitters in them. So when you blend out those colors, the glitters come off. I mean, I think I have a little bit on there, but with like this dense brush that I was using, I grab some of that product and I am not gonna be blending or anything. I'm just adding it to my eyelid and just kind of like sliding it a little bit just so I can get some glitters on there, you know? And then again, on the other eye, you grab some product, and then... If you're like me, oh see those glitters are so cute. I love it. <laughs> but if you're like me, and you just did a hard edge, like I just did, you're probably going to want to blend that out. I am going to clean this brush a little bit and just kind of diffuse the edges. And I'm just doing the edges just because I don't want to get rid of those glitters that I just added. There is no such thing as too much blending. You need to blend as much as you have to. And then now I will be getting a flat brush and I'm going to damp that while I'm going to spray some Fix Plus in it. And I'm going to grab some of the color Blossom, which is right on top of Spirit Rock, from the same palette, of course. I'm going to add that in the middle of my eyelid where I left the space. Actually, I do like to add some with my finger first. I don't know why. I'm so weird. That's what it looks like. And then you can just blend the edges with that brush that you were using. So now we're going to go in the bottom lash line, which is down here. I'm going to go with the color Sherbert from the Anastasia Self Made Palette, and that is our transition color. And then now with a flat brush, I'm going to go with the color Spirit Rock, and I'm going to add that also. and then I will blend that. So I don't know if my camera got this, but I do stop my camera sometimes because I don't want my battery to die so fast. But I did go with my flat brush and I added more black to the bottom just to add the pigmentation of the black because when you blend it it doesn't look too black like dark black so that's what I did I just added it and smoked it with the exact same brush it's going like that slightly not all the way down now with my wet and wild white pencil I'm gonna go ahead and add white to my waterline you can do this black if you want to just to intensify that smoky eye but I don't like doing a black eyeliner that much. I do like it sometimes with a black smoky eye, but I prefer adding white just so it can open up my eyes more. I did not realize how red my eyes are. I just haven't slept. I'm having sleeping problems, so that's what it is. So now we're going to do our inner corner highlight and I am going to use the color Treasure from the same palette again. So I'm going to damp my brush a little bit with my Fix Plus just to intensify the highlight. So and now I will be curling my eyelashes to add on some falsies. Alright, so now I will be doing my lips and I am going to use the 
ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color Midi. And in the middle, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Milkshake. I'm going to do those mixtures. So I'm going to do like an ombre. And I feel like it makes your lips look a little bit bigger. Okay, I am going to moisturize my lips with my EOS Lip Balm or EOS or whatever it's called. And it's really cold and it's been windy. So my lips are tending to get really dry just because I do like to wear a lot of matte lips. So if you guys saw, when I did the middle color, I did get a brush and I blended it out with the brush. I've been feeling like that's the best technique to do it. I used to just like, that's what I would usually do, but I do like to blend it out with a blending brush or just like a brush in general now. And maybe something like this is fine and just kind of blend it out, whatnot. So yeah guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope I helped you guys out a little bit. Yeah, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, please don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, if there's anything else you guys want to see, just let me know. And I will definitely get that out for you guys. Don't hesitate to talk to me, to write me. And if you recreate my looks, you can tag me. I do these looks for you guys to recreate or for you guys to learn from. And I hope I am helping you guys out with that because that's the whole purpose of me doing this since... I want to help you guys out and just kind of like bring you guys in this journey with me. It's not just you watching me do my makeup. It's just that I, you know, I want you guys to see how I do my face and, you know, whatever questions you guys have that I could help you out with, I would be more than happy to. And thank you so much, you guys, for taking the time to watch my videos. I know I say this all the time, but it really means a lot to me. And you know that you guys subscribe and then you like my video you give me a thumbs up and that you guys comment i love that i love the feedback i get thank you so much you guys for watching and i will see you guys on the next one